Good evening. Welcome from Community Stadium in Muscatine High School football week number three. We have a pair of teams still looking for their first win. Hello, everyone. Roland Glenbine here on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. A beautiful night for football as the Benendorf Bulldogs have come to town. Sitting at 0-2, as are your Muscatine Muskies. Yet the Muskies feeling much better about themselves coming into this game tonight after a uh, nice comeback in defeat last week in Iowa City. Muskies fell behind 28 to nothing in that ball game, but then scored the next 14 points, really injected with a bunch of energy and life thanks to an 89-yard touchdown a run by Ty Kozad. One of three on the night. The Muskies would cut it to a 14-point deficit, had a chance or two to get it even closer before falling on the road last week, 42-21. to 21. Now, while the Muskies are feeling better about their uh, football team, the Bendorf Bulldogs come in tonight 0-2. Long time, the bullies on the block have been bullied themselves a bit this season, sitting at 0-2. Coming off a loss last week, 34 to nothing last week to Cedar Rapids Kennedy. That is the uh, largest shutout defeat by the by uh, Bettendorf in a decade. Last time they uh, were beat that badly in a shutout loss, you got to go back to 2012, a 38 to nothing loss to Pleasant Valley. More on that game in a minute, but right now we're going to uh, take it down to the field and listen in as the Muskie Band plays our national anthem. job by the musky marching band tonight playing the star spangled banner as we were uh, mentioning before that the bendor bulldogs come into this night's game 0 and 2 losing last week 34 to nothing that is their largest shutout defeat in a decade you got to go back to 2012 when they lost to pleasant valley 38 to nothing interesting side note on that game the very next week bendorf came down to play the muskies and muscatine beat them the last time the Muskies beat them. So will history repeat itself tonight? That remains to be seen. We'll have that answer here in a, a couple of hours. As for the tale of the tape tonight, well, the Bettendorf Bulldogs come into this ball game and, uh, like, like we mentioned, struggling a bit. Lost their opener 27-14 to to Urbandale. Lost last week, 34 to nothing to Cedar Rapids Kennedy. They are uh, 
throwing the ball a little bit more than usual, but then they've been losing. So when you're behind, you tend to throw it a little bit more. So these numbers perhaps a bit misleading. But the Bulldogs come in 15 of 33, passing the ball for 150 yards. That's 10 yards per completion. One touchdown thrown, four interceptions thrown. The Muskies, meanwhile, well, a little bit aerially challenged this year, just uh, trying six passes, completing two of those for 40 yards. No touchdowns in one interception by uh, Sawyer Zach. Some good news for the Muskies. It appears they got their starting quarterback back. Landon Batty is in uniform tonight. He left the game number one in the first quarter after taking a blow to the head as the Muskies come out, out of the field right now. Home crowd giving him a great ovation. So Batty is back. He missed last week's game uh, in concussion protocol. We'll see uh, if he gets the start tonight and how much he plays. But that will be a, a nice addition back on this offense, which has been carried by Ty Kozad. It's been a run attack for the Muskies. 367 rushing yards this season to Bettendorf's 159. Most of those 367 yards come on the legs of number 24, Ty Kozad, who has 340 of those yards, pretty much all of them. In fact, uh, 407 total yards for the Muskies this year, 340 of those are from Ty Kozad. Of course, Coach D.J. Hawkins would like to find a, a second outlet on this offense. And with Batty back, maybe we'll see a bit more of the passing game tonight. The Bulldogs, they're struggling, but they are a, a smart group over there on that coaching staff. They've watched a lot of film, and they will be stacking the box tonight trying to stop Ty Kozad in this musky offense. The coin flip was won by the Benendorf Bulldogs. They deferred and decide to kick off here in this first quarter of play. So the Muskies will get the ball to start this game going right to left on your screen. I want to uh, thank everyone for joining us tonight here on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network and uh, tuning in for our Muscatine Powered Water pregame show. Now it's time for football. Beautiful night. The sun has set. Temperature reached uh, into the low 80s today, but it is cooling off quickly into the 70s. And uh, just a perfect night for football here in Muscatine. Muskies wearing their all black home uniforms. Debuted those a couple of weeks ago. Bulldogs in the uh, white jerseys and uh, gold pants. That storied look, a storied program which has struggled of late last two plus seasons the Bulldogs just five and five was uh so five and five last year five and three the year before so they're ten and ten in the last two and uh, two plus seasons that is not what Bulldog fans are used to we'll see if they turn it around tonight or if they lose their third straight game Here's the kickoff, and we are underway tonight in Muscatine. Fielded at the 10-yard line and returned up with some room to run to the 40. One man to beat the kicker to the 50, down to the 40, down the sidelines to the 31. And a Muscatine Muskie strike with the burst. Big play tonight. The kickoff return taken into Bulldog territory by Braden Lane. Well, for the Muskies to get this win tonight, and it is a win they can get, they're going to need some big plays, and it didn't take long to get the first one. That kickoff return down to the 32-yard line, and here come the Muskies. And now a whistle as the officials try to straighten it out. The Muskies led out onto the field, not by Landon Batty, but by Sawyer Zeck. Zek started last week, came in relief in late in the first quarter of week one. So Batty is in uniform. He has yet to uh, play, though, tonight. Does have his helmet on, and we'll watch that closely. First down play to give us to Kozad. Kozad makes two three-minute miss and has a first down. The Muskies already into the first National Bank red zone. 
just one play into the ball game. The ball marked right at that 20-yard line. First and 10, Muscatine. Adams will split off to the top of your screen. The turn, the give to Kozad. Kozad runs into a wall of Bulldogs. Picks up maybe a yard on the play. Kozad, 239 yards rushing last week in Iowa City. 340 already on the season. A big night tonight could mean some history for him. We'll touch on that here in a moment. Already 11 yards rushing on two carries for Kozad tonight. Some movement up front, and there is a whistle. And I believe the Bulldogs were caught off sides. Hard count there by Sawyer Zek, and it does draw the free five yards on the Bulldogs. So march that ball down inside the 15, and that brings up a very manageable second down in three yards. Ty Kozak can get 163 yards tonight. He'll reach the 1,000-yard mark in his career. Second and short. Now there's some movement up front. Totally legal as they go to an unbalanced front. Zach turns, fakes the pitch, gives off to Kozad. Kozad has the first down, but a late flag comes in, and this could be on the Muskies. Chop block called on Muscatine. Costly penalty there. Negates a first and goal situation, and that will march that ball back. Bring up a second and long. We talked about it a little bit, but limiting mistakes tonight, the key. That's pretty much the key every week, but especially when you're playing a storied program like the Bettendorf Bulldogs, and there is a first mistake for Muscatine. Moves the ball all the way back to the 28-yard line. So, in essence, a 19-yard penalty. Second and 18 upcoming for Zoyer Zek and the Muskies. Give us to Kozad. Kozad gets through the initial hole and then is wrestled down along the 23-yard line. Five-yard pickup for Zek, or excuse me, for Kozad. And we have a Muscatine down on the field. Trainers are out on the field. We're going to take a quick break here. We'll be right back with more football on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. River Rehab Physical Therapy. Feel better, move forward. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns, making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze. Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone could make short work of the lawn. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement Excuse into me, an Henry, elegant I'm bathroom ready. and upgrade a worn out kitchen right, using are. inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. We are looking for a zero turn. Back here at Muscatine, the injured player taking off the field, Paul Henry. Keep our eye on him as he's on the sidelines now. Big third down coming up. The give is to Kozad. Kozad right up the middle. And this may be a field goal opportunity for the Muskies as it's about a fourth and six upcoming.
And out comes the field goal unit trying to strike first tonight are the Muskies. Jackson Othmer will line it up a 33-yard attempt. He was trying 49 yarders in pregame, made his last one, so 33 well within his range. 0 for 1 on the season, well last week 0 for 1, and here's the ball, the place is down, rushes on, the kick is up, it is right through the uprights, and the Muskies strike first tonight. 3 nothing Muscatine, 9-19 to go in the first quarter. You're watching the Muscatine and Muskies on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Hessler Turf quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns, making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze. Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone could make short work of the lawn. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. Back here at Community Stadium, Roland Glenbine. Glad you could join us this evening. The Muskies strike first. Thanks to a long kickoff return, set up the 33-yard field goal by Jackson Altsmer, and he's about to kick things off here as the Muskies go on defense for the first time tonight. Jordan Roberts, a very dangerous kick returner, number 21 for the Bulldogs. Althmer puts a foot to ball, and it's a line drive kick, angling towards the sidelines and into the end zone. That's a touchback. And now a late flag around the 30-yard line. It looks like this might be on Muscatine. The official points to number 18. Somebody had some extracurricular activities going on, and uh, officials will huddle up and discuss that a little bit. Well, if that is the case, that is one of those mistakes we're, we're talking about. You can't do stuff like that. You can't give a team a free 15 yards. And expect to win against good teams. So the uh, call pending here. And taking their time with it. And we have a personal foul face mask on the Bulldogs. So good news for Muscatine. The foul actually called on Bettendorf, and that will put, pin them back, should pin them back to the 10-yard line. Well, this Bulldog offense, needless to say, has struggled this season. Led by quarterback Charlie Zimmerman, a 5'10 junior, thrown four interceptions on the season to just one touchdown. Just do not have the star player on this Bulldog team like they're used to having in all their successful years, be it uh, Harrison Bay Bowie or Carter Bell. No one's really stepped up and taken that star role on this offense the last two-plus years now, and the Bulldogs have struggled. And truthfully, I, I don't know if that player is on this year's team for the Bulldogs. Zimmerman's yet to show it. They're, they're back, has some talent. The big game against the Muskies last year. Isaiah Martinez, 86 yards only rushing so far this year. And now another flag, and that's going to be five yards on the Muskies. Somebody lined up offsides. 
So, so far, uh, the official here on the near side is getting a lot of work done. He's getting his cardio in. Now, now they – it's on the Bulldog. So that official – Put his hands on his hips, which would have signaled offsides on the defense, but uh, not the case. So movement on the Bulldogs. Now they're really in a hole, starting from their five-yard line. Here's the snap and some room to run out to the 20, 25, 30, and a first down. That's not how you want to do it on defense. Spark right away by the Bulldogs. Isaiah Martinez as he's out near the 35-yard line, a gain of nearly 30 yards on that first play. Interesting starting quarterback tonight for the Bulldogs. Their backup, Spencer Del Vecchio, gets the start tonight. The senior will get his uh, first start of the season here in week three as the Bulldogs just looking for a spark. And they got it there on that first play from Martinez. Now here's a little reverse. And uh-oh, a lot of run to run and uh, he's going to go all the way just like that. The Bulldogs had the lead. Just two plays. 95 yards. And this defense looks uh, a bit stunned right now for the Muskies. Wrigley Mathis, I'm guessing his parents are Cubs fans, takes it all the way to the house for the touchdown. And the Bulldogs jump on top. 6-3. to three. Man comes out late on the field on the extra point attempt upcoming. From the Bulldogs, some sparks both sides early. The kick is up, and that kick is good. And just like that, 8.59 to go in quarter number one. It's Bettendorf on top now, 7-3. to three. Affordable metal manufacturing provides cut-to-length rolled metal panels for commercial, residential, and agricultural roofing. We take pride in delivering our products with a short lead time, yeah. normally three days or less. Our panels are cut to the nearest eighth of an inch 95. for greater Start efficiency and Start less five, waste. Yeah. Affordable Metal can even roll your panels on site. Call today for a free quote and let us become your preferred supplier. Affordable Metal Manufacturing. Our business is rolling. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns, making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze. Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone could make short work of the lawn. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road. Back here at Community Stadium, just three minutes into this ball game, both teams are on the board. Bulldogs kicking off after that 95-yard two-play touchdown drive, and the uh, kick returned out to uh, about the 25-yard line. That's where Sawyer Zek and the Muskies will start drive number two. Couple of penalties pushed the Bulldogs all the way back to the five yard line. Muskie defense uh, got to be better than that. Here comes the offense. So let's see if they can strike back. Maybe we're in for a shootout tonight. Adams will split off to the bottom of your screen. The turn, the give to Henry. Henry. Brought down in the backfield, nowhere to go as Isaiah Dunn makes a nice stop there on defense, a loss of four on the play. Second and long upcoming now, not uh, where Coach Hawkins wants to be. Want to get positive yards on first down. Here's the turn. The give is to Kozad. Kozad met by a host of Bulldogs in the backfield. And this drive's going the long, wrong way right now for Muscatine. Third and uh, very long upcoming now after two straight loss of yardage plays. We'll see if a pass is dialed up here. 
Sawyer's at two of six on the season. Both those completions came last week against Iowa City West. One to Adams, one to Keener. Instead, Zach will do a little option. Late pitch, had some room to run, and got back across the initial line of scrimmage, but not much more there. And now bring out the punting unit. Nice play there by Zach, pitching it uh, at the last possible second. Just uh, great defense there to stop the option. The Muskies will have to punt it away from their 27-yard line. Late Bulldog out out of the field. Here's the boot. It's a bad punt, short and right out of bounds. Didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Just shanked it off the foot. We've all been there on the golf course. Haven't really been there with a couple thousand people watching, though, and that's, uh, that's a tough one there, and that sets up the Bulldogs all the way down already to the 25-yard line. Again, that goes into the uh, filing cabinet under mistake. Can't have too many mistakes tonight against this Bulldog team. Del Vecchio back in at quarterback. Turns, gives off right up the middle, and uh, still on the feet down to the 20-yard line is Isaiah Martinez. Well, defense needs to respond right now and hold the Bulldogs to at least a field goal attempt and pick up the punter a little bit. Trips will be split off towards the bottom of your screen. Del Vecchio in the gun. Bad snap. Turns. Throws. Has Mendoza. A little room to run. Splits the defenders and gets inside the 10-yard line. First and goal, Bulldogs. Brookhart credited for the tackle. But now first and goal all the way down to the six-yard line in this Bulldog offense that has struggled so far this season. Seems to have found itself here in the first quarter tonight in Muscatine. Twins towards the top. Del Vecchio in the gun. Hand off Martinez right up the gut towards the goal line. Brought down just shy down to about the yard and a half mark. Bring up second down and goal on the right hash. Daniel Adams credited for the tackle. And again, they'll go no huddle. Twins split off towards the top this time, second and short. All kinds of options for Del Vecchio. Here's the snap that gives to Martinez, and he can walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And now a flag comes flying in the end zone. Somebody did something unsportsmanlike. That touchdown should stand, however, and the Bulldogs jump up top 13-3. to Officials, again, taking their time to make the call. It looks like it's on Bettendorf as they're talking to the Muscatine coaching staff to see what they want to do. Could take it on the extra point or take it on the kickoff, I believe. Looks like they'll probably assess that on the kickoff. So there we finally have the official signal. And uh, like we said, on Sportsman, like on the Bulldogs, they'll assess that on the kickoff extra point upcoming now for Bettendorf, trying to extend this to a 14-3 lead. 
Snaps down. The kick is up, and the kick is good. 5.21 to go here in quarter number one. It's the Bulldogs, 14, uh, Muskies, 3. Affordable metal manufacturing provides cut-to-length rolled metal panels for commercial, residential, and agricultural roofing. We take pride in delivering our products with a short lead time, normally three days or less. Our panels are cut to the nearest eighth of an inch for greater efficiency and less waste. Affordable metal can even roll your panels on site. Call today for a free quote and let us become your preferred supplier. Affordable metal manufacturing. Our business is rolling. We just don't work out in a single plane of motion. Kickoffs brought to you by MPW Cable Advertising, powered by ICANN. Don't forget to reach out to Bojo for your local cable advertising needs. Bulldogs kicking off back at the 25-yard line after that 15-yard penalty. Chance to return it here. And uh, the ball is bobbled, but then uh, picked up by the up man and brought out to about the 44-yard uh, line. Looks like Cameron Evans returning that kick. So good field position here for the Muskies, who are now in a, a dire need of getting a drive and putting points on the board as they uh, trail this game by 11. Still just midway through the first quarter. Once again, it's Sawyer Zek out there under center for Muscatine. Man goes in motion, and a flag comes in. Boy, we have had the flags tonight. This one going to be on the Muskies. False start pushes it back five yards, and this team just a little bit out of sorts right now. As smooth as they looked in the second half last week, tonight uh, anything but. On both ends of the ball. Full house backfield for Zek. Man in motion. The turn, the give to Kozad. Kozad, man at the line of scrimmage, fights his way through the initial hit. Picks up a couple of yards, but the Bulldogs are ready for that. Short gain on the play. Second and long upcoming now for Muscatine. Ball marked just outside of the 41-yard uh, line. Here's the turn to give again to Zach. Zach brought down in the backfield. And like I just mentioned on the last play, the Bulldog defense is ready for Zach. They did their film study. They know that he's been 88% of the offense so far this season. Got to find uh, some alternate pass to move the ball down the field. This is a passing situation. We'll see if Coach Hawkins dials one up. They ran option on their last third and long. Henry in motion. The give to Kozad. Kozad has some room. Got to stay on his feet. And I think he got the first down. Ty Kozad, 15, we'll call it 16 yards on the carry. Well, who needs to throw the ball when you can just give it off to Ty Kozad? Move the sticks and a first down into Bulldog territory. That unofficially now 38 yards on the night for Kozad. Turn the give again to Kozad, and he picks up a couple of yards brought down around the 43-yard line.
Ball's just inside the 43. It's stuck in the cloud. Just shows you just how good of a back this kid is. They know he's coming. They're keen on 24, and he's still able to get yardage on these plays. Here's the give to Cosette again off the left tackle and inside the 40-yard line. And now another late flag as a couple players get tangled up away from the play. Two flags, actually. This might be, uh, I'm not even going to guess. I'm never right when I guess with this crew. I'm just going to wait. We have a personal foul called on Muscatine. So that one, uh, another huge mistake for the Muskies. You had a third and four upcoming after a nice run by Kozad. Now it's second and 18. Turn the give to Kozad. Kozad again makes a man miss. He's loose for a moment. That's back to the line of scrimmage. Back at the 45-yard line. Goes at eight yards more to his total, up to 53 on 10 carries now. And third and 10 upcoming for the Muskies. Two teams tonight trying to avoid going 0-3. Last time, the Bulldogs lost three games in a row in a season, 1976. The movement up front, I think that should be on the Bulldogs. We'll wait and see if the flag comes out. 1976. It was a couple of weeks before Jimmy Carter was elected president. And it is five yards called against the Bulldogs. So now we're up to the 40-yard line as these two teams are very sloppy tonight. A lot of laundry on this field. Actually, those three games were to start the 1976 season. Man in motion. The give to Kozad. Kozad has some room. Up the middle. He could break it to the 20. Stumbled right there. Got tripped up at the 20. That saved the touchdown. But it is a first down. Muskies into the first National Bank red zone. That's a 28-yard pickup right there by Kozad. And yet another flag on the field. So again, some movement up front. We'll see who the guilty party is this time. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, setting a record for flags tonight. We might be on until midnight at this rate. So, an illegal substitution penalty on the Bulldogs. And uh, this right now is one of those drives you need to capitalize. You got some great running and uh, some situations didn't look like this drive was going to be successful, but here you are on the doorstep. First down in five inside the 10-yard line, trailing by 11, you need six. And everybody on the defensive side is keyed on number 24 right now. Zach keeps it himself. He's got some room. Down towards the goal line. He reaches for the pylon. Touchdown, Muskies. Sawyer, Zach kept it and did it himself. Rolls in to the end zone, and the Muskies 
cut into this Bulldog lead. They'll go for the extra point. It is blocked. That one never had a chance. The man off the left end uh, blocks that with ease. So with 1.14 to go in the first quarter, the score is now Bettendorf 14 and Muscatine 9. Ivy Hot Deals are super hot this Friday through Sunday. Our special recipe brats, eight for only $12. Plus, get a 16 cent fuel saver. Doritos or Ruffles, only $1.88 each when you buy two. General Mills Family Size Cereal, only $1.99. That Smart Cottage Cheese, only 99 cents. And Heidi One Step Potatoes, only 99 cents. Don't miss the three day sale this Friday through Sunday at Hy-Vee. Check out HyVeeDeals.com for more deals. We are looking for a zero-turn lawnmower. At Hustler Turf, quality matters. Can I test drive that one? In the store? <laughs> Even in the buying experience, we know you want to buy from someone who knows what they're talking about. We're looking for a zero-turn mower. Like Great. this guy. Uh, first thing you need to know is what's the size of your property? Uh, are there any obstacles? Head to your local Hustler dealer and talk to a lawnmower expert. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Affordable metal man. A pair of teams that have struggled so far this season on offense are having their time of it tonight, making hay, and it's 14 to 9, still in the first quarter. And we're ready for another kickoff brought to you by MPW Cable Advertising, powered by ICANN. Jackson Othmer will uh, boot it away from the 40. It's high and deep. Nice kick right there, but guess what? There is a flag on the field. Looks like uh, one of the Muskies across the line before the kicker did, and uh, they'll push it back five yards. They're racing a touchback for Othmer. He'll try again. Dangerous return unit on the field for Bendorf. Don't want to really have to re-kick this one from five yards back because now they'll have a chance to return it. See if uh, Othmer does more of the line drive kick here. Nope, this one high and will be returnable inside the five. Out to the 20. Looks for blocks. There's another flag on the field. This is coming back. Factoring provides cut. To Great return right there. It's for not, however, as we have yet another flag on the field as Elijah Mendoza's return will be returned. Holding on Bettendorf. So they'll mark it all the way back to the 20-yard line. And we'll see if this musky defense can come up with a play. This is a Bettendorf offense that has thrown four interceptions on the season. Muskie still looking for their first interception on defense. Now would be a pretty good time for it. Del Vecchio returns in the pistol formation. Low snap. Del Vecchio is going to throw, has the man in the flat, and uh, it's too low, no good, incomplete, second down, upcoming. Looking for Mendoza out there, and uh, just under through the ball. Del Vecchio again getting his uh, first start tonight. 
Bulldogs making the switch at quarterback, looking for some kind of spark. They've got it thus far. Here's the give up the middle, and uh, Martinez has some room to run. It will bring up a third down and about three or four upcoming for the Bulldogs. Call it third and three again. No huddle. They just all get the play from the sidelines and go right to their spots. Playing with tempo. Twin receivers towards the top of your screen. Del Vecchio in the pistol. Turns, gives off to Martinez. Martinez runs towards the line. I think he got it. He will have enough for a first down. They'll stop the clock. That very well may be the last play of the first quarter. However, the clock down to 12 seconds left. It's been a fun first quarter. Both teams striking twice. And at the end of one, it's Bettendorf 14, Muscatine 9. This is Musky Football on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. We just don't work out in a single plane of motion. know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. IV hot deals are super hot this Friday through Sunday. Our special recipe brats, eight for only $12. Plus, get a 16 cent fuel saver. Doritos or Ruffles, only $1.88 each when you buy two. General Mills family size cereal, only $1.99. That smart cottage cheese, only 99 cents. And High V one step potatoes, only 99 cents. Second quarter underway, starts with a swing pass in room right there, but a nice saving tackle by the Muskies, not before a first down, however, as Del Vecchio finds Elijah Mendoza. Shoestring tackle there, perhaps saved a touchdown. First and 10, here's the give. Martinez gets about five, maybe six yards right up the gut. On the scoreboard tonight, uh, Iowa, or actually, uh, excuse me, Waterloo West leads Davenport West eight to six. Davenport West trying to go three and zero oh on the season. They get Davenport Central next week, so... Uh, Things changing a little bit for Davenport West. Things looking up on the west side of Davenport. Twins off to the right, second and short up coming for the Bulldogs. Here's the give Martinez. Martinez battles for uh, about four or five yards. First down, Bulldogs. So this Bulldog offense having their way of things here in this first half tonight. And someone needs to step up on this musky defense, make a play, kind of turn the momentum. Del Vecchio has uh, three receivers, two to his right, one to his left. Here's the snap. He rolls right, looking to throw. Pressure on. He throws it up for grabs, and the ball is 10 yards behind everybody. Incomplete. Well, Del Vecchio had to rush that pass as he was under 
Heavy pressure on the play. Led to the incomplete Xander Dayton. Nice job on the rush right there for the Muskies. <laughs> Second and ten. Man goes in motion. That's Wrigley, the keeper to the quarterback, Del Vecchio. Del Vecchio has enough for the first down. All the way down near the 30-yard line, and once again, the Bulldogs moving the sticks. Nice crowd on hand tonight. Just uh, hard to believe, but after tonight, just two home games remain on the season. Just four home games this year during the nine-game slate. Trips off to the top. Del Vecchio, bad snap, rolling, looking to throw. Let's it fly, has the man, but it's off his hands, incomplete. Not a bad throw. Mendoza, now we have a penalty over here in front of the Muscatine sideline. Not close to any action. We'll have to see what this is. It's almost as if uh, one of the coaches said something he shouldn't. Either that or, uh, well, we're not going to speculate. We'll just wait the 60 seconds for them to talk it out. You want to speculate? I, I think he might have said a magic word. Either that or he pointed out something that uh, Bettendorf was doing wrong. Either way, there's a long conversation going. I've seen I've seen book clubs go shorter than this. Still awaiting the signal. And we have a legal substitution. An eligible receiver. There you go. Okay. So that was a late flag and uh I think you have to credit the Muskie coaching staff for that one because they talked the official into throwing that flag. And now the Benendorf coaching staff wants an explanation. They're not happy over there. Ah, oh, you got to love Friday nights. So we'll mark this off and eventually get back to play here. In the second quarter, and uh, after we talk a little bit more about it. Well, let's talk about what else is going on tonight. It's a full slate of games. Last night we had a game. Davenport Central got their first win of the year over Cedar Rapids Jefferson. That's an overtime game. Central winning 19-12. to We touched on Davenport West. They're in action tonight up in Waterloo against Waterloo West. And so now we had another flag and an unsportsmanlike conduct on the Bulldogs' sidelines. So now we're going to push it way back. I hope somebody is keeping stats on the flags tonight because I am curious. Davenport North travels north to the Key City tonight to take on Dubuque Sr. Pleasant Valley is playing Lindmar. That game being played... At Cedar Rapids Prairie, as Lindmar's turf is still not installed correctly, so they had to forfeit their home game. Here's a swing pass out to Wrigley. Wrigley already won touchdown on the night and gets the ball inside the 40. Wrigley Mathis, still a long way to go. That was second and 30. That's going to bring up about a third and 18, maybe, third and 18. Trips off to the bottom, and now we have another whistle, and Coach Hawkins wants to talk about it. Time out on the field. We'll take it with them. You're watching Musky Football on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. We just don't work out in a single plane of motion. Another 
flag on the field. <laughs> you know, Rivo, we just don't work out in a single. So we're, we're in the middle of a timeout, and guess what lays on the field? Some yellow laundry, so I'm not sure if this fell out of the pocket, or we're going to about to find out, I guess. So we have dead ball, another unsportsmanlike penalty on the Bettendorf Bulldogs. So I, uh, they have a very fiery coaching staff over there. I've, I've talked with them. I've covered Bulldog football in the past, and if things aren't going their way, words will fly, and this officiating crew are not really receptive to those words. So now we got a third and 32 upcoming for the Bulldogs. This might just be a quick punt here. We'll see what they do. Nope, they're going to go for it here. Throwing it deep over the middle, and the ball's incomplete. Oh, Wrigley Mathis had a chance, and there's another flag on the field, by the way. Holding on the Bulldogs. Probably going to decline that and bring up fourth down. As tempting as it is to bring up third and 42, the right call would be to decline this. You, if you're Muscatine right now, you've got to take advantage of this. This officiating crew is not very happy with the Bulldog sidelines. The flags are flying in your favor as the Muskies. You need to take advantage right now and get some points on the board. So they do decline it, and uh, fourth down. Fourth down in about bluegrass upcoming here for the Bulldogs. Paul Henry standing at uh, about his 15-yard line awaits this kick. Bad snap. Ball's loose. He gets the punt away. It's a line drive kick, and that one will work in the Bulldogs' favor as the ball lands at about the 31-yard line. Great job there by the punting unit just to, to get that ball away after mishandling the snap. That could have gone south real fast for the Bulldogs, and Muscatine just, just so close to catching that break have not been able to get it yet pretty much all season. Plays like that. Sooner or later are going to go your way. Now's your opportunity, though. Trailing by five, 9.16 to go in the second quarter. The momentum has seemed to switch in Muscatine's favor. We'll see what the offense can do. They're going to give off to Kozad. Kozad rams his way for a bunch of yards on first down, about seven. He just keeps the legs turning, even after first contact. There are not too many players in eastern Iowa that do a better job than Ty Kozad in getting extra yardage after first hit. We have him for 88 yards rushing on the night now as he gets closer to that 1,000 career mark. Clock down to 840 left, second in about four. The give is to Kozad. Kozad this time falls forward for maybe a yard, and it will bring up a third down, very big third down upcoming for the Muskies. You want to get a first down here, don't want to get the ball right back to this Bulldog team that is kind of lost right now on offense. Unbalanced line to the right. The give us to Kozad. Kozad needs to dance. It doesn't have enough moves there. Too many defenders keying in on 24. And now a fourth down and short upcoming. And the punting unit looks to be coming out on the field for the Muskies. Opportunity lost right there for Muscatine. And they'll kick this ball away midway through the second quarter.
Good snap. Ball is uh, booted away. It's a nice punt. High hanging punt. Goes out of bounds. No return. Beautifully done there. Ball all the way down to about the 26-yard line. Great job by Cameron Evans on the punt. And the Bulldogs will get the ball back here on top. 14 to 9. We'll see if they go forward or backwards in this possession. North Scott in Assumption, also in action tonight. That game being played at Assumption's Field, just the second year of that field is in use. So here's Del Vecchio again on the field for the Bulldogs. Turns, gives to Martinez. Martinez ramps his way forward for about five yards on the carry. Well, the Bulldogs have been effective when they keep the ball on the ground. They have not got their passing game going one bit tonight, but Martinez has done a nice job running this ball. He's in the backfield on the left hip of Del Vecchio. Three receivers set, two to the top of your screen. Del Vecchio looks to throw out into the flat, a high throw, and it's bobbled and perhaps picked off. The ball is intercepted, and there it is, the first turnover by this musky defense. And Muscatine has the ball deep into Benendorf territory. Deflected pass, and there's the break we were talking about. Muskies have the ball back, the ball marked at the 36-yard line. And here he comes, Landon Batty, back out onto the field, starting quarterback playing for the first time since the first quarter of week one. Batty under center. Turns, gives to Kozad. Kozad needs to turn the corner. He's got it to the 30, to the 20. It's clear sailing for another 24. Touchdown, Muskies! Thirty-six yard touchdown run by Ty Kozad, and your Muskies are back out on top. Extra point is up, and it is good. And with 6.29 to go in quarter number two, the Muskies 16, Bulldogs 14. This is the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. River Rehab Physical Therapy. Feel better, move forward. At Hustler Turf, quality matters. Matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Yep. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. We just don't work out in a single. Back here at Community Stadium, the Muskies on top for the Bulldogs. 16 to 14, following a 36 yard touchdown scamper by Ty Kozad. Who else? Well, we got ourselves a little barn burner tonight. Glad you could join us on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Time for a kickoff brought to you by MPW Cable Advertising. 
powered by ICANN. Othmer approaches and lets it fly. A high short kick out to the 11 yard line. Ball returned and still on his feet is Mendoza and another flag flies as Mendoza is brought down around the 37. And we will once again check in with our officiating crew. Looks like a hold on the Bulldogs. So again, the flags are really coming against Bettendorf in the second quarter. And that will push uh, the black and gold back to start this drive. They mark it all the way back to the 17-yard line. And we'll see what the Muskie D can dial up. Came away with an interception first of the season on their last drive. Del Vecchio again out of the pistol. Gives off to Wrigley Mathis. Mathis around the right end. Still on his feet. He's got open field. One man to beat. And a flag flies. No worries. This one may be coming back as Mathis jogs into the end zone. And now you want to keep your eye on the Bettendorf coaching staff because they might explode right now if this is on the Bulldogs. Coach Wiley is on the field already, standing at the 30-yard line, just waiting. It is a hold on the Bulldogs. And, yeah. Coach, Coach Wiley, hand on hips now, is beyond frustrated. So another break goes the Muskies' way and uh, take that six points off the board. So from where the flag occurred, the ball marked back pretty much at the original line of scrimmage, and they'll just do first and 10 all over again. Huge break for Muscatine. Can they take advantage? Low snap, keeper, quarterback gets a few. Del Vecchio picks it up about three yards on first down. Maybe four. Not only did that penalty erase the touchdown, you forced Wrigley Mathis pretty much out of the game for a couple of plays. Because he's gassed. He just ran an 80-yard sprint for naught. Receivers split both ways. Second down in six for the Bulldogs. Del Vecchio looks to throw in the right. Flat's got a man. Oh, it was so red by Adams. He almost had a pick six. Adams read that one. Daniel cut for the ball, was able to knock it away. So close to a pick six. Now third down, Bulldogs. Well, entertaining ball game to say the least tonight here in Muscatine. Big third down play up coming, but not before the whistle comes. And a timeout for Muscatine. They know how big of a play this is on defense as well. They want to talk about it. And uh, we want you to hear from our advertisers. We'll be right back on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. <laughs>
River Rehab Physical Therapy. Feel better, move forward. Like At Hustler pass, Turf, that quality was matters, was especially pass, in the really strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. We just don't work out in a single plane of motion. Flat and the ball is almost picked again. Falls incomplete, fourth down, out comes the punting unit. Well, Del Vecchio has been off target. Already throwing one interception, so close to throwing another interception twice on this drive. And the Bulldogs will have to kick it away. A great chance here to get a return. Last snap was uh, not a good snap. We'll keep our eye on that as well. Braden Lane is set to return at the 40. This snap much better. The punt is away. It is high. It is short. Lane has a chance to return. It's off his fingertips. He gets it on the second bounce. Gets some room. Has a block. Has more room to the 40. Down to the 35. And I peruse the field. I do not see any flags. The Muskies will start this drive in great field position inside the 35-yard line. Five oh five to go in this second quarter. Muskies a chance to add to their lead now. Bettendorf will get the ball to start the second half tonight. They won the toss and deferred to start this game. Batty back out there. His second drive behind center. Gives off to Kozad. Kozad wrestled to the ground right at the line of scrimmage. Muskie's not going to get too fancy here, you would assume. They just need to pick up a few more yards to get it to Jackson Othmer field goal range. Ten yards would probably secure that. Meanwhile, the clock ticks. Man goes in motion. The give is... To Kozad, makes the first man miss. He's got room and all a shoestring tackle. Saves a touchdown for the Bulldogs. First down, however, Muscatine. It was that close to yet another touchdown. Caught another 12 yards. That uh, has Kozad unofficially up to about 137 already in this first half tonight. The turn, the give to Kozad, looking for more. Got to make two more men miss and uh, wrestle down, but yet a nice carry on first down. Isaiah Dunn brings him down, but not before Kozad gets close to first down yardage. We'll see if the officiating crew wants to stop our clock again and do a measurement. Perhaps being paid by the hour tonight, though, they are going to call a first down. So there you go, 10 yards, no measurement necessary. First and 10 in the first National Bank red zone are the Muskies. Batty under center now looks over, and we have a whistle and a timeout. Coach Hawkins discussing something with the officiating crew. 
No timeout has been officially signaled by the official, but uh, we are definitely in a stoppage right now. We've had a lot of stoppages tonight, that's for sure. We do have a, a first down, and we're just going to keep it here on this timeout right now as we uh, see what Coach Hawkins could be discussing with his crew. Just say it nicely, Coach. These guys are uh, a temperamental group that are on your side right now, so choose your words carefully. <laughs> and let Coach Wiley continue to be the bad guy over there on the other side. So they, they continue to have a gentleman's conversation, and uh, meanwhile, we have a first down upcoming. And now the call is for a timeout. But now the players are back out on the field, so I don't know. Don't know. All right, we are set. Now he just whistled the clock. <laughs> clock shouldn't be running, and the clock is running, coming out of a timeout. Batty under center. Batty gives to Kozad. Kozad spins. He's loose. He's close to the goal line. I think he got it. Waiting for the signal. Touchdown, Muskies, Ty Kozad. Mama, there goes that man again, is in to the end zone. Muskies up by eight, looking to add to it the extra point up. Tack it on, folks. Check out that scoreboard. It's pretty right now. 316 to go, second quarter. Muskies on top, 23 to 14. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. IV Hot Deals are super hot this Friday through Sunday. Our special recipe brats, eight for only $12. Plus, get a 16 cent fuel saver. Doritos or Ruffles, only $1.88 each when you buy two. General Mills Family Size Cereal, only $1.99. That Smart Cottage Cheese, only 99 cents. And hy -Vee One Step Potatoes, only 99 cents. Don't miss the three day sale this Friday through Sunday at hy -Vee. Check out hyvdeals.com for more deals. Back here at Community Stadium, things looking good right now for the Muskies. 3.16 to go before halftime. Uh, your home team is up by nine. Need to keep this momentum. Can't let the Bulldogs strike before halftime. No, they do get the ball to start the third quarter. Kick is high and short, will be returnable. Running up and dropping it, though, and they got a fall on it back at the 16, 17-yard line. So that was perfectly kicked right there as Wrigley Mathis had to sprint up to try to catch it. It was so short, and he just couldn't handle it. Kind of like that uh, little Texas blooper in baseball falling right between the center fielder and shortstop. Nicely placed there by Jackson Hoffmer. Now the defense again in pretty good position. They have Bettendorf pinned back inside their 20-yard line. Del Vecchio hands off. And this is what has been working tonight for the Bulldogs. Isaiah Martinez, a nice pickup on the ground. Well, their running game is moving the ball. Luckily for Muscatine, they've been calling more passes, which has not been effective at all for Coach Wiley's bunch. Meanwhile, the whistles are definitely working, and we'll see what this one's about. Perhaps we just have a player there who's a bit banged up. Yep, Daniel Adams. They stopped the clock for him. 
Adams will have to come out of the game because of that whistle. Diamond Crayee comes in for Adams. So first and 10, they wind the clock down to three minutes to go in this first half. Four-man front for Muscatine. Del Vecchio in the pistol. Turns, gives off to Martinez again. Room to run again. Spins down to the 50, still on his feet inside Muskie territory. And Martinez on two straight runs has picked up about 35 yards of field position. Bulldogs still have two timeouts left. Plenty of time as the clock sits at 235 and counting. Throw out to the flat. There's Mendoza. Mendoza makes one man miss. He's got room. He's down the sidelines. Mendoza brought down. Nice tackle there at the 10-yard line, saving a touchdown. That's Diamond Crayy for the moment, keeping the Bulldogs off the board. Well, you have all the momentum, but it's all of a sudden swinging back towards the Bulldogs. Someone needs to make a play or someone needs to throw a flag or something. Del Vecchio gives off to Wrigley Mathis, trying to find the right end. Down to the goal line. He's upended at the one. Big hit there. Gavin Brookhard. Lays the lumber and keeps the Bulldogs out of the end zone for now. The clock ticking down two minutes left in the second quarter. Man in motion. Snap. Give to Martinez. Martinez walks into the end zone and the Bulldogs... Strike back. Clock is still running. Still running. It should be stopped at 138. It's still going down to 128. Still running. Clock. 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 Now, finally, they saw it. It should be a 138. 139. That too. Clock ran all the way down to 111. Never stopped. The touchdown uh, scored, and now they put the time back on the clock. Crisis adverted, and we are back to where we should be. 139 left. But they scored eight points, so the scoreboard needs to be corrected there. <laughs> scoreboard not right right now. We'll fix that. We'll get it all fixed. Extra point is bobbled, picked up, and wrestled to the ground. Extra point is no good. So the scoreboard says 23-22. It should be 23-20. And we're going to take a break right now and sort everything out and come back for this final drive of the second quarter on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. IV Hot Deals are super hot this Friday through Sunday. Our special recipe brats, eight for only $12. Plus, get a 16 cent fuel saver. Doritos or Ruffles, only $1.88 each when you buy two. 
General Mills Family Size Cereal, only $1.99. That Smart Cottage Cheese, only 99 cents. And Heidi One Step Potatoes, only 99 cents. Don't miss the three day sale this Friday through Sunday at Hy-Vee. Check out HyVeeDeals.com for more deals. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is now. Well, back here at Community Stadium, I think we got everything uh, figured out and everything right now. Muskie's up 23 20, 139 to play in the second quarter. See what kind of return the Muskies can get. That will probably uh, determine how aggressive they are on offense. And the ball goes into the end zone, uh, touchback, and we might be seeing a couple of tie Coes at handoffs. I wouldn't expect uh, Coach Hawkins to get too aggressive here with the lead. You want to hang on to that lead going into halftime. If you can bust a play, hey, that's great, but do not make a mistake at this point. We invite you all to stick around for the Muscatine Law and Power Halftime Show. We'll Try to recap what has been an eventful first half of action. Checking some scores from around the MAC conference as well for you. Adams will split off towards the top. Batty turns. Gives to Kozad. He's still on his feet. He cuts back. He's got some room. One man to beat. And... Still on his feet, down to the 35-yard line. Well, Kozad had to slow up just momentarily to make a cut, and that let some of the defenders catch him from behind. But now you're in business down inside the 35-yard line. And Kozad has gone over the 1,000 mark for his career with that run. First and 10, here's the give, and still on the feet, and a flag comes out. I knew he was reaching for that. I could see that developing. The line judge here on the near side saw something, and I think that one's coming back. The ball momentarily inside the first National Bank red zone, but the flag pending will be a hold on Muscatine. Nice run there by Braden Lane is wiped out. And that's a costly penalty right now. Is now you're in position to get points here, at least three of them. But you're going to need to get about 10 more yards to set up a makeable field goal. Clock is ticking down to 106 in counting. Batty under center. Batty turns, gives to Kozad. Kozad springs it loose outside the left tackle, and another flag flies as Kozad has a first down. But a hold is upcoming on Muscatine. And the penalties continue to fly with a flurry of a December snowstorm right now here in Muscatine. They'll mark that all the way back to the 46-yard line. Muskie's going the wrong direction as the clock is under one minute. And they will wind it. First and 22 upcoming for Muscatine. Clock down to 43 seconds. Man in motion. The pitch is... Here's the tackle brought down around the 39-yard line. Thought he might be able to break free, but Braden Lay brought down there, down to the 39. Muskie still have one timeout. The board says two. They have at least one. We know that. 22 seconds and counting. Got to do something quick here and call the timeout. Clock down to 12. The turn to give to Kozad. Kozad is brought down right at the line of scrimmage. And we'll see, should at least call a timeout and throw a Hail Mary. But they will not. Conservative to the end, and we have come to the end of the first half with the Muskies on top, 23-20. We'll be right back with the halftime show here on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. 
We are looking for a zero turn lawnmower. At Hustler Turf, quality matters. Can I test drive that one? In the store? <laughs> Even in the buying experience. We know you want to buy from someone who knows what they're talking about. We're looking for a zero turn mower. Flying, like great. this guy. Uh, first thing you need to know is what's the size of your property? Uh, are there any obstacles? Head to your local Hustler dealer and talk to a lawnmower expert. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Affordable metal manufacturing provides cut to length rolled metal panels for commercial, residential and agricultural roofing. We take pride in delivering our products with a short lead time, normally three days or less. Our panels are cut to the nearest eighth of an inch for greater efficiency and less waste. Affordable Metal can even roll your panels on site. Call today for a free quote and let us become your preferred supplier. Affordable Metal Manufacturing. Our business is rolling. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns, making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze. Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone could make short work of the lawn. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. River Rehab Physical Therapy. Feel better, move forward. At Hustler Turf.
We just don't work out in a single plane of motion.
know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. Ivy Hot Deals are super hot this Friday through Sunday. Our special recipe brats, eight for only $12. Plus, get a 16 cent fuel saver. Doritos or Ruffles, only $1.88 each when you buy two. General Mills Family Size Cereal, only $1.99. That Smart Cottage Cheese, only 99 cents. And High V One Step Potatoes, only 99 cents. Don't miss the three day sale this Friday through Sunday at High V. Check out HyVDeals.com for more deals. We are looking for a zero turn lawnmower. At Hustler Turf, quality matters. Can I test drive that one? In the store? <laughs> Even in the buying experience. We know you want to buy from someone who knows what they're talking about. We're looking for a zero turn mower. Like Great. this guy. Uh, first thing you need to know is what's the size of your property? Uh, are there any obstacles? Head to your local Hustler dealer and talk to a lawnmower expert. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Water, Bear of Muscatine, Muscatine Lawn and Power, River Rehab, Great River Tire, Bosch Pest Control, Waffle and Pancake House, Muscatine Symphony Orchestra and Muscatine Charities, and the Burrito Factory. Welcome back, everybody, to the Muscatine Lawn and Power halftime show where the Muskies lead. Bettendorf 23-20 Muskies looking to knock off the Bulldogs for the first time since 2012. These two teams started playing in the late 1950s. The all-time series belongs to the Bulldogs 59-6. So this would be a headline news for sure that the Muskies can... Uh, do what they did in the first half in the second half and pull out this victory tonight, their first of the season against the Bulldog uh, team that is struggling, looking for their first win and trying to avoid going 0-3 to start the season for the first time since 1976. It has been a great first half for Ty Kozad. It's been a great season for Ty Kozad going over the 1,000 mark in his career, somewhere around 190 yards rushing already. We have very uh, unofficial stats up here, but I have him for uh, about 193 yards in that first half, including a couple of touchdowns, one of them for 36, another for 11 yards. Sawyer Zek also scoring for the Muskies in that first half a six-yard uh, quarterback keeper, which uh, cut the lead at that point. Bendorf had a 14-3 to lead. That made it 14-9. to And uh, the Muskies have kind of come back from that early deficit, fought back, thanks to a lot of penalties on the Bulldogs, a lot of penalties both ways, but they have definitely been uh, more so against the visitors thus far in this first half of action. Teams are back out on the field now as we are close to kicking off things in the third quarter. The Muskies will give the ball away to start this third quarter of action. Checking out some scores from around the area. Games much farther paced, faster paced than we are tonight. They're in the fourth quarter already up in Dubuque, and Dubuque senior leads Davenport North. 20 to nothing. Davenport West looking to go 3 and 0 on the season. They lead at halftime over Waterloo West 26 to 20. Central of DeWitt is uh, taking care of business against Clinton 30 to 7 and North Scott has a 21 to 7 lead against Assumption. Score here 23 to 20. This has been a uh, a nice game for the Muskies, not a perfect game. There have been some mistakes, or this score could be even more so in favor of the home squad. But uh, had an interception in that first half. 
defense uh, coming up with their big play. Had the big plays on offense. Just got to keep that momentum up right now. This is a proud bunch from Bettendorf. They're not used to losing. Their coach, I, I guarantee you, laid into them at halftime, and they are going to come out fiery right now on this first drive. You can just tell from their demeanor standing on the field right now, ready to return this kick. The Bulldogs are going to give everything they got. The Muskies want to uh, complete this victory. Uh, they're going to have to bring it here in this second half, only leading by three. That was Lincoln Brookhart, by the way, on that interception. Leader in the clubhouse for defensive player of the game. So here we go, halfway home to the first victory of the season. The kick is up. It is high and short, returnable. The Bulldogs have some room up to the 20, up to the 30, midfield and more. And just as we spoke, the Bulldogs are not going to go quietly into that good night. Truesdale on the tackle, not before a huge return by Jordan Roberts. He is averaging 33 yards on his returns this season, and that just went up after that one all the way down to the 35-yard line. You just hope the Muskies aren't just feeling good about that first half. And they come out and uh, complete the job here in the second half. Here's the snap and change at quarterback. But the give is to Martinez. And Martinez who's had room to run all night long. Another huge gain right up the middle. Martinez down inside the 20-yard line down to the 17. So... The switch made at halftime. They will bring in Charlie Zimmerman, who has been the starter for the first two games for the Bulldogs. So Zimmerman in at quarterback, replacing Spencer Del Vecchio, who had a rocky, rocky night of it throwing the ball in that first half. Here's another give to Martinez, and he is going to march right into the end zone. Touchdown, two plays. And the Bulldogs are back on top, just that easy. Just kind of the way they started their first drive tonight was a two-play drive. Now their first drive of the second half, also a two-play touchdown drive. This one, however, just a 35-yard drive. That first drive of the game, they went 95 yards, I believe, to uh, score that touchdown. So the Bulldogs bounce back out on top, 26-23. The extra point is up. Nice rush on the outside. But the kick goes through nonetheless, and the Bulldogs regain the lead, 27-23. to At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns. Don't know why they just don't do that all night. Obstacles a breeze. Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone could make short work I mean, of the lawn. Hustler yeah. Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Back here at Community Stadium, the Bulldogs needing just 41 seconds to regain the lead. Two-play drive, two runs by Isaiah Martinez, netting 35 yards. And now this Muscatine offense is going to have to uh, respond back. There's the kickoff over the head and into the end zone of lane. They'll start at the 20-yard line. Well, you knew a three-point lead was not going to be enough to knock off the Bulldogs, and that's why I kind of wish they would have been more aggressive towards the end of that first half instead of just letting the clock run out. You had a timeout. You had the ball down around the 40-yard line. You could have, even if you just hand off to Kozad, you, you see what he has been able to do. Just not doing anything I, I think was a mistake. 
But that is uh, down river now, and here we go. The pitch to Lane, and he is uh, picking up some nice yardage around right tackle. And Muscatine looking for a late hit there. For once, we do not have the flag. And the ball will be marked at the 25. Braden Lane, five yards on first down. Gavin Brookhart uh, felt like he got pushed after the whistle and was hoping to get a flag. Nothing thrown in second and five upcoming for the Muskies. Here's the give to Kozad. Kozad has room. What else is new? And he's got a first down. Kozad, eight yards on the carry. That puts him right around the 200 mark on the night. According to my unofficial stats. This is 19th carry already we have him for. The first and 10 Muskies ball up to the 32. And there's Kozad once again, carry number 20 on the night. And he rams his way forward for another four to five yards. Just underway here in the third quarter. Glad you could join us tonight on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. If you're watching us on uh, cable or YouTube. Facebook Live as the Muskies shift into an unbalanced front now. And to give us to Kozad. Kozad hit at the line of scrimmage and uh, brought down in the backfield. Don't say that often. And a loss of one yard on the play. We'll bring up a third down and uh, about seven yards for the Muskies. Well, Batty yet to throw the ball tonight. Perhaps this is uh, the opportunity. He's got Adams split off to the top. Turns and gives to Kozad instead, and the defense is waiting for that. And uh, once again, conservative play calling and a fourth down situation upcoming for the Muskies, and out comes the punting unit. You cannot be one-dimensional and be successful too often. So out to punt the ball away. Cameron uh, lets it fly. It's a line drive kick. Will bounce at the 35 and head right to the sidelines. And the Bulldogs will start off there with the lead. Now the defense is going to have to find a way the stop Isaiah Martinez. I think Coach Wiley realizes that's his path to victory right now, giving the ball off to number three. Especially now that they've made the change at quarterback. I think Del Vecchio may be the better passer of the two over Zimmerman. So now Zimmerman's in there. You, you really got to focus on stopping number three and stopping the run game. First and 10. And here is the give. No, a fake on the give and a play action pass. Well, what do I know? First down. Zimmerman zips it right to Mendoza. Perhaps the Muskie defense thinking along with me and they get burned for a first down. The ball inside Muskie territory. Eight minutes to play here in this third quarter. Very long game tonight. A lot of penalties. Stretching this one out for you. I hope you had two bags of popcorn ready. Here's the give right up the middle. And this time the musky defense. And now we got a late flag. Two flags coming down. One along the 
Bulldogs sidelines, one in the middle of the field. So we'll check that out. Meanwhile, it was a gain of uh, two to three yards for Martinez. We actually made it uh, about four minutes of play there without a penalty. We have a personal foul called on the Bulldogs. And that is a big one right there. That will mark it off 15 yards. It kind of uh, forced the Bulldogs into a passing situation. Which is where you want Zimmerman. He has thrown four interceptions in just two games this season. Receiver each way. Martinez in the backfield. They mark it back off down to the 42 of Bettendorf. Scoreboard says first and 22. Man goes in motion to give it on the jet sweep to Mendoza. Mendoza bobbled the ball and is brought down. He hung on to it. Looks like he uh, bobbled it just a minute there. Was able to hang on to it, but a great job. A pursuit by the defense, bringing up uh, another long situation for this Bulldog offense. I feel like this game just kind of hangs in the balance right now. The next big play could go a long way in deciding it. Back to throw, Zimmerman rolls to his right, looking, looking, throws it in the flat, has his man, and a uh, pickup of well, about 10 yards there will make it a third and manageable for the Bulldogs, about a third and 12 upcoming. That pass completed to J.T. Kramer. So a big play right now for this musky defense, third and 12. After that 15-yard penalty, you can't let a team get a first down on you. Out of the pistol is Zimmerman. Zimmerman hands off Martinez right up the middle. Martinez is brought down shy of the first down around the 41-yard line. Now what does Coach Wiley decide to do? It would be a... Fourth down in about five yards. They might decide to go for it here. Looks like they're going to keep the offense on the field. So a big opportunity for this defense. Fourth down in five. Bulldogs can't get drawn off sides right now. Man goes in motion. Here's the snap. And there's going to be that quick kick we talked about earlier. Zimmerman punts it into the end zone. Not a good job right there. And we have a flag on the play. It's going to be on the Bulldogs. Now the question is, do you want the ball on the 20-yard line or do you want to force them to punt it again? And Coach Hawkins is deciding that right now. You might as well just let them punt it again because now you set up your return. The surprise is gone. The decision has been made, and we uh, patiently anticipate the call. Well, no one's back at the 20, which makes me think that maybe they're going to. We'll, we'll see. They decline it, so it will be musky ball at the 20-yard line. Oh. This head official could be a like murder mystery author with the suspense that he draws out there. Has us all just hanging on every thread. So the muskies get the ball, a chance to jump back out on top here. 5.28 to go in quarter number three, trailing by four. 
Defense did its job. Now you got to find a way to move the ball. And again, this offense has been reliant on number 24, and the Bulldog defense is really stacking that box right now at the line of scrimmage. Turn the give to Kozad. Kozad runs through that stacked box and somehow picks up eight more yards. Well, this is just macho football right now. It's we know what we do well. We know you know what we do well. We don't care. We're going to do it anyway. Stop us. And it's a second down in two upcoming for the Muskies. Turn. Give to Kozad. Kozad waits, finds a hole, and gets the first down. Well, we have Kozad up to about 214 yards rushing now. Hey, did the lady find you? She's on on phone. Something like 24 attempts, which is crazy in itself. First and 10 on what feels like a very important drive for this Muskie offense. Adams split towards the bottom. Batty's back to throw. Looking in the flat. Has who else? Kozad. Kozad has the first down and a flag comes flying late. As Spencer Del Vecchio on the ground. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. The crowd just let out a huge cheer and that the Muskies were throwing the ball. Kozad needs a breather right now. He is gassed. So Kozad onto the sidelines. And the officials are trying to figure out what to do here on the penalty. It is a block in the back on the Muskies. So a very unusual first down and seven upcoming for Muscatine. Yet it was nice to see the pass. <laughs> Lincoln Brookhart uh, into the game now at tailback as Kozad tries to catch his breath right now on the sidelines. The give on the sweep, spinning out of a tackle and getting a first down. Nice run there by Paul Henry. Paul Henry did not go down easy. Gets the chains moved up to the 45-yard line. Here's the give, up the middle, ball is loose on the ground, the fumble is loose. Did we get it back? It's a big call up coming. And I think Muscatine did fall on it. So a uh, big, big bullet dodged right there as Ty Kozad gets nine yards and gets the fumble back. Second down and one upcoming. The clock ticking down to the three-minute mark in this third quarter. Muskie's very deliberate as they walk to the line. Play clock down to four seconds. Got to get this ball off. They do. Batty beats the clock. Here's the reverse and the give to Lane. Lane gets it to the 40-yard line. So a little trickery right there. The handoff to Henry. Henry hands it off to Lane, and they move the chains up to the 40. And now Lane looks to be cramping, perhaps, as he's slow to get up. It is a cramp. They'll take care of that. We will take a break. You're watching the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. River 
rehab physical therapy. Already Feel better, over to move forward. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. We back here in Muscatine, just some cramping, but Lane had to come out of the ball game, hobbling off a little bit, still trying to get that calf muscle stretched out correctly. So this is where you run into the numbers game right now. The Bulldogs have probably about 20 more players than the Muskies do. Most of them are playing just offense or defense. Muskies pretty much going both ways. Becomes a war of attrition. First and 10, Henry in motion. The give to Kozad. Kozad brought down, wrapped up in the backfield somehow. Still on his feet as he muscles forward. He turned a one-yard loss into a one-yard gain on some tough running there by Ty Kozad. Ethan Rogers was the first to hit Kozad in the backfield. Second and nine upcoming. Down to two minutes to play in the third quarter. Muskies need a way to find points on this drive. Batty under center, Henry in motion. The give to Kozad. Kozad has some room up the middle. Kozad still on his feet inside the 30. First down, Muscatine. Kozad now up to around 236 yards on the night. And he will come out of the game right now. So Kozad is out. We'll see what Coach Hawkins dials up. Kozad just gassed somewhere around 26 carries on the night. And that, those are hard carries. Those are getting hit at the line of scrimmage, bouncing off tacklers, getting extra yardage. Here's the give to uh, Brookhart. And he picks up a uh, yard, maybe two. Well, Muscatine is in field goal range right now. However, they're down by four. Field goal doesn't do them a whole lot of good. Second and nine, Kozad back in the game, just one play off. And the give is to Kozad. Kozad bounces off a tackler. He gets pushed out of bounds down around the 20-yard line. And an all-important third down in about two upcoming for Muscatine. This may be four down territory right now, down by four. If I'm a gambling man right now, I'm betting number 24, probably going to see the ball. Tell you what, if you play action pass right now, you'd probably have a wide open receiver. Movement early, and yep, yep, the right guard moved early, and that is a costly mistake for the Muskies. That turns second and two. Into a second and, or excuse me, third and two to a third and seven. Big difference in play calling right now. Evan Frankie, the guilty party. So mark the ball at the 25. The Muskies need to find the 18. The clock ticking down, final 30 seconds of the third quarter. Batty. Gives to Kozad. Kozad bounces off one, bounces off two. He's got clear, sailing to the end zone. Touchdown, Muskies.
Muskie fans, you're seeing one of the greatest efforts by a running back. Maybe not the greatest, but it's up there. What this young man has done tonight, his third touchdown, he has over 260 yards rushing, according to my math, and that uh, extra point is up and good, so take that with a grain of salt, but it's definitely over 250, and we still have a fourth quarter to play. Muskie's back out on top, 30 to 27. We'll be right back. We just don't work out in a single plane of motion. No, we just don't work out in a single plane. Back here at Community Stadium, final seconds of the third quarter upcoming. Ty Kozad is just put the Muskies back out on top. 30 to 27. Kozad going over the 1,000 mark in his career tonight. If this game uh, keeps going the way it is, he might get 1,000 yards on the season. Not cool. I exaggerate, but just a bit. Muskie's kicking this one away. And we know how dangerous this uh, return unit is. So Offmer's got to do something here with the ball and the boots it away. It's a short returnable kick. He fielded at about the 14 and falling down, trying to make a cut. And there's a break right there for the Muskies. Jordan Roberts tripped himself up on the old turf monster and the Bulldogs will start off around the 24. Nine seconds to go in this third quarter. Glad you could join us tonight. Hey, uh, if you got a friend, give him a call. Tell him to tune this in. This is uh, exciting right now. Muskies haven't beat Bettendorf in 10 years. They've only done it six times in school history against like 59 losses. So this is this is big right now. Can they uh, finish the deal? Here's a double reverse and some room for Mendoza. Mendoza has the first down. He slips a tackle down the sidelines into Muskie territory. He's brought down. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. We have an injured player along the sidelines. We will check on him. During the break, end of three, it's the Muskies on top, 30 to 27. We are looking for a zero turn lawnmower. At Hustler Turf, quality matters. Can I test drive that one? In the store? <laughs> Even in the buying experience, we know you want to buy from someone who knows what they're talking about. We're looking for a zero turn mower. Like Great. this guy. Uh, first thing you need to know is what's the size of your property? Uh, are there any obstacles? Head to your local Hustler dealer and talk to a lawnmower expert. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Affordable metal manufacturing provides cut-to-length rolled metal panels for commercial, residential, and agricultural roofing. We take pride in delivering our products with a short lead time, normally three days or less. Our panels are cut to the nearest eighth of an inch for greater efficiency and less waste. Affordable metal can even roll your panels on site. Call today for a free quote and let us become your preferred supplier. Affordable metal manufacturing. Our business is rolling. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns, making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze. Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone can make short work of the lawn. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart yeah. Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Roland Glenbine back here about to start the fourth quarter at Community Stadium in Muscatine. A great one brewing tonight. 
between the Bulldogs and Muskies. Two teams looking for their first win of the season. Back and forth all night long. We have 12 minutes left to try to uh, determine a winner tonight. The injured player coming off the field right now. The Muskies, Gavin Brookhart. Under his own power, looks like maybe some cramping issues there as he's having trouble extending his left toe. Well, again, a lot of these guys playing both ways on the musky side anyway. Cramping is going to be an issue late in the ball game. So now who can make a play on defense? Zimmerman back out there at quarterback. Gives off to Martinez up the middle. Another huge hole for Martinez. He's still on his feet inside the 20. Down out of bounds around the 15. And Isaiah Martinez continues to punch back. It's been the Kozad Martinez back and forth show tonight. And the Muskies haven't really been able to stop this Bulldog rushing attack whatsoever. The Bulldogs have been stopping themselves between incomplete passes and penalties. Bulldogs in business to give again to Martinez. Martinez up the middle again, down to the five-yard line as the Bulldogs knocking on the door once again to try to take this lead back. Bulldogs, again, not going with the huddle. That is just their style of play. They'll split two off to the bottom of your screen. Martinez right behind his quarterback, Zimmerman, who's in the pistol. The give is to Martinez. Martinez, once again, will just walk into the end zone. Martinez, I don't know if anyone laid a hand on him. It's been way too easy for number three tonight as he has the Bulldogs back out on top with just 11.28 to go in this game. Extra point, and this is a big extra point right now. Turns a three-point lead into four. And here comes a flag. So we'll check on that. Might be on the Muskies. They're looking over to the Bulldog coaching staff asking what they want to do. Well, there's no way they go for two here. You got to kick it. So they decline the penalty and will kick the extra point. Not worth the uh, risk right now to try for two when you're only up by three. Snap is high, it's put down, the kick is up, and the kick is through. And with 11.28 to go in the fourth quarter, the Bulldogs regain the lead 34-30. Rehab Physical Therapy. Feel better, move forward. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality. Back here in Muscatine, it is a uh, low ground ball of a kick and fielded at the 25-yard line. So that's where Landon, actually Sawyer Zek is coming out now. 
Well, okay, there's Batty. So Zach is just coming out to play wide out. And Batty remains in the game at quarterback. Zach started this game at QB. Batty came in after a, a few drives. And is looking comfortable out there. Handing the ball off to Ty Kozak. Speaking of, there's the give up the middle, and the Bulldog defense is waiting for that. I'm telling you, if you play action past, it would be wide open. Second and 11. Batty again, the give to Kozak. Kozak's loose. Kozak breaks free. He's at midfield. He's down the sidelines to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Ty Kozak. I hope you're watching, folks. This is history tonight. Ty Kozak, 75 more yards, his fourth touchdown of the night, and the Muskies are back out in front. Well, unofficially, we have Kozad for around 335 yards rushing tonight. Just insane. I don't know what the school record is, but if someone does, I would love to hear it. Because Kozad either has it or he is very close. The extra point is good. The Muskies are on top. We'll be right back. It's 37-34, Muscatine. River Rehab Physical Therapy. Feel better, move forward. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Back here at Community Stadium, Ty Kozad has just scored his fourth touchdown of the night. This one from 75 yards. Again, you're just joining us. We have him for right around 336 yards rushing on the evening. And uh, we are getting word that that is a school record for rushing yardage. The kickoff sails into the end zone, a touchback. You would hate to have the school record come on a loss. Let me just say that. This has been an unbelievable effort by this young man. It would be so fitting to come in a victory tonight, and uh, we still got 10.42 to go, and the Muskies need to find a way to stop number three, who is easily having his way of things as well. And there is Isaiah Martinez. This time runs and uh, only picks up two or three yards. So much better effort on defense there by the Muskies. Second and seven upcoming. Bulldogs quickly up to the line. Man comes in motion. The give is to that man. It's Wrigley. 
And uh, Wrigley Math is brought down short of the first down. It will bring up about a third and five, maybe third and four. Defense needs one more stop to get off this field. Snap, looking to throw, still looking, no one there. He might go down. He's going down. Well, that a coverage sack, but a big play on the defensive end for the Muscatine uh, Muskies, Evan Frankie, making up for that false start penalty a little earlier with a big defensive stop right there. Fourth down, the Bulldogs are punting. Nine minutes away from victory and what would be one of the bigger victories in Muskie history. Really, when you think about the school record and who you're doing it against, this one will be talked about for years. Here's the punt, a rugby-style kick. Got to get away from that, and there's a big bounce for the Bulldogs. But, yeah, great field position upcoming for the Muskies up around the 49-yard line. Muskies lead 37-34, 8-34 left. Do we have a fifth touchdown in us? That's what makes this so impressive is the Bulldog defense knows what the Muskies are going to do, and there is a false start on the right tackle. As right now, Lincoln Brookhart in the game at tailback. He was going to get that handoff. Ty Kozad is sitting on the bench right now with an ice pack on the back of his neck. That is something we are going to keep our eye on. Here is the give. And a nice gain right there by Brookhart as he is kind of Rodeo hog tied down, but not before he picks up some yardage in, down to the 49. And well, off comes the ice bag, and in comes Kozad into the game. This is Iron Man football at its best right now. The, the kid can barely stand, but yet he's out there again looking to secure this victory for the Muskies. Second and eight. The give is the reverse to Henry. Henry is brought down, a loss on the play. So they used Cozette as a decoy that time, but Henry not able to turn the corner. And a third down and 10 upcoming for the Muskies. Still 7.37 left in this fourth quarter. You got to believe number 24 is going to get the ball right now. The snap, the give to Kozad. Kozad hesitates, gets up the middle, and picks up maybe five more yards. Fourth down, however, upcoming. And Coach not hesitating, sends out the punt unit right away. So we'll give them four yards on that carry, and we'll call it 340 yards now on the night rushing for Ty Kozad. Big punt upcoming here. I wouldn't, uh, I would try to angle this one. Don't let a return happen. Back high snap. The punt is away, and it's a line drive kick, and it's going to roll all the way down inside the five yard line. Oh my, oh my. The brakes are turning, and they're going the way of Muscatine. A bad snap turns into a fabulous punt for the Muskies. Cameron Evans, what an effort right there somehow to get that ball and to kick it away under heavy pressure and then to get it down inside the five. Now the officials are talking and they're going to mark it at the 20-yard line. I believe it hit 
a musky player on his shoulder. So the ball is placed where the ball hit that musky player. So the Bulldogs will start with the ball at the 20-yard line. 6.37 left, and they're throwing the ball out in the flat. It's Wrigley Mathis. Mathis is brought down just outside the 20, a gain of maybe one. Well, on a night of offensive fireworks, it's the Muscatine defense looking to seal the deal. Clock ticking, approaching the six-minute mark. The lead is three, 37 to 34. Two receivers split off towards the top of your screen. Zimmerman remains in at quarterback, trying to direct traffic. Martinez off to his left. The give to Martinez. He goes off right tackle. Martinez bounces outside and is brought out of bounds right near the first down mark. A nice spot there by the official. Will give Martinez a first down. Glad you're staying up late with us tonight, watching uh, some history. If you're watching, tell a friend the game on YouTube, the game on Facebook. Go ahead, share it. This is uh, something everyone needs to see tonight. Here's the quarterback keeper, and he's got some room. Zimmerman is down near midfield, out to about the 47. Get the word out there. This is uh, some exciting action tonight here. So if you're just joining us, Ty Kozad has 340 yards unofficially, but right around 340 yards rushing tonight. We have confirmation that is a school record. Also has four touchdowns, but now the focus is on the defense and Isaiah Martinez who's having a big night of his own, has the ball into musky territory down to the 45-yard line. Evans back into the game on defense. Sergio Becerro comes out. Second down and short yardage. The clock down to 444. One more defensive play. Who can make it? Zimmerman turns, gives off Martinez. Martinez up the middle, has enough for the first down, and is brought down right around the 40-yard line. The chains will move as the Bulldogs continue to march towards the end zone, trailing by three. A field goal ties it. Touchdown takes the lead. Stacked receivers towards the bottom, but the run game has been uh, what has been working for the Bulldogs. And then they're going to go air. They got a man. The ball is caught, but a flag flies at the line of scrimmage. A great catch by Elijah Mendoza. Now we await the flag. It was a late flag on the official along the Muscatine sidelines. The Muscatine coaches are saying it's coming back. An eligible receiver downfield. So a big penalty saves the day again for the Muskies. Clock down to uh, 4.09 left. A huge call up against the Bulldogs. We'll mark it back to the 45. First down and uh, about 14 yards upcoming for Bettendorf. Handoff up the middle, Martinez. This has worked all night. Martinez brought down after a gain of about five or six yards. We'll call it second and eight upcoming for the Bulldogs. Clock under four minutes now to play.
Receivers split each way. Martinez right behind his quarterback in the pistol. Mendoza on the... A nice play right there by defense with Mendoza in motion, but the give was up the middle, and the defense was not fooled by that. Third down and 10, and this is four down territory right now for the Bulldogs as the clock ticks down towards three minutes to go. You need two more stops to get this ball back. Trips towards the bottom of your screen. Crowd making some noise, back to throw. Zimmerman rolls to his right, looking, still looking. No one there, he's gonna go down. No, he escapes, he puts the ball up and it falls harmlessly between three Muscatine defenders. Well, a Houdini act by Zimmerman just to get that ball away and save his team a chance to go for it here on fourth down. We'll see if they do. Some players are walking off the field. Coach Wiley's trying to figure this out. This might end up being a timeout. Still plenty of time on the play clock, 20 seconds left. And it looks like they are going to take a timeout. We'll keep it here on this one, folks. If you're uh, joining us tonight, you're watching some history right now. A school rushing record by Ty Kozad, 340 yards. That's unofficial, but right around there, he's got four rushing touchdowns. This has been a back and forth ball game between the Muskies and Bulldogs. The Bulldogs have not lost to Muscatine since 2012. The Bulldogs have not lost three games in a row since 1976. The Muskies are two minutes and 53 seconds away from making all that happen and adding a huge exclamation point to what is a historic night here at Community Stadium. So this becomes the play now, fourth down and nine. The Bulldogs have not had a lot of success throwing the ball, but I can't imagine you put the ball on the ground right now as great as that has been for you. Fourth and nine with the ball game on the line. We'll see what Coach Wiley calls. He does send a couple of receivers towards the bottom. Martinez is in the backfield right behind his quarterback. The crowd is making some noise. This has the game lying in the balance. The quarterback keeps it. He's got to beat the defender in the corner. He's still on his feet. And I think he's going to get the first down some way, somehow. It's really close. Both teams think they got it. They're both pointing... And it, it really depends on the spot right now. My initial take was he had it. The official coming in now. And this, if ever you're going to do a measurement, now would be the time. And we will have a measurement. Perhaps the biggest measurement in community stadium history right now. It is along the Bulldogs' sidelines, and it is really close. Fourth down. Whose ball is it? You can tell from the reaction right now of the players. And he stopped him. They stopped him by inches. Unbelievable. Zimmerman did everything he could to stay on his feet and get that first down, and he fell about two inches shy. So the Muskies will take over right now as, once again, it looks like Paul Henry is dealing with some cramping. It will be musky ball. This game not over, however. The Bulldogs have timeouts. The Muskies are going to have to get a first down here to melt some clock. And you're going to get a heavy dose of number 24 right now, I would assume. It has been a record night for Ty Kozad. We have him for 340 yards rushing. 
he came in with 340 yards rushing on the season in two games. He's doubled his output tonight. He's gone over the 1,000 mark for his career, did that easily in the first half. So it is Muscatine's football right around the 32-yard line. But I don't have to tell Muskie fans right now this is not over until the clock reads 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. You figure one first down, depends on when you get it, could salt this away. The Bulldogs will take their timeouts as Henry coming off the field right now. Again, just cramping issues for him, so he'll be all right, get some uh, fluids. The defense did their job. Now it's the offense's turn to melt this clock away. Well, for the crowd that came out tonight, they are witnessing history here at Community Stadium. For those of you who tuned in, you are doing the same. Glad you could join us this evening on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network, an instant classic. Landon Batty out there with his team. The clock not ready for play yet. Because I think we might be the last game playing in the state of Iowa tonight. This has been a long one, but boy, has it been a good one. First and 10, what does Ty Kozad have left? Batty will turn and give to Kozad up the middle. Not much there, and there's the first timeout by the Bulldogs. Well, it comes down to how brave do you want to be if you're Coach Hawkins? Because the Bulldogs are going to sell out on number 24. They're, they're just telling everyone to tackle Ty Kozad right now, figuring he's going to get the ball. Do you have a play up your sleeve where you can use Kozad as a decoy? They tried that a little earlier on the reverse to Henry, and it did not pay off. Right now, a little different situation now because the stakes are so high. As a defense, you've got to focus on number 24 and believe that he's getting the ball. And even when they have focused on him, they haven't really been able to stop him. So do you have the courage, or I don't want to call it stupidity, but maybe it would be stupid not giving him the ball right now, and you, you just let Kozak take two more cracks at it? And if he can't do it, well, you punt it away and give it to the defense, but he's carried you this far. How do you not give it to him? So I don't know what the answer is, but we're about to find out. We're out of the timeout. Second down in 10, 2.38 left. The Bulldogs still have timeouts in their pocket. Full house backfield. Kozad in the middle. The turn, the give is not to Kozad. And look at this. Some room to run for Lane. Lane has the first down. There you go. Riverboat gambler, Coach Hawkins. And with an ace up his sleeve. I don't think Coach Hawkins has ever been called a riverboat gambler. But he did have an ace right there. And that ace is Braden Lane. And a big first down for the Muskies. Clock down to 2.31 to go. As the Bulldogs use yet another timeout. I believe they have one left. I think they've just used two. So one more time they can stop the ball. One more first down should end this game for Muscatine. Right now, if you're uh, in that huddle, you're telling your, your backs, two hands on the ball, hang on to that football with all your life. Because you know that defense right now is going to do everything they can to try to force a fumble. 
And I'm knocking on wood, so you can't blame me, Muskie fans, if something bad happens. First down and 10. Ball at the 46. Batty under center. Batty turns. Gives to Kozak. Kozak bounces out of side. Got to stay in bounds. He does. And picks up a big four, maybe five yards. And that will be the final timeout taken by the Bulldogs. So give another five yards to Kozad. We have him up around 345 yards. Maybe a couple more, maybe a couple less. What we do know for sure is the Muskies are five yards away from victory right now. And not just a victory, but a victory over the Bettendorf Bulldogs. The bullies on the block. They lead the all-time series 59 to 6. They've won every game since 2012 that these two teams have met. But tonight you just had a feeling things might be different. The way that Iowa City West game ended. The way the Bulldogs have struggled, uh, you didn't for, I didn't foresee 350 yards rushing, but I, I figured this might be a close game, and boy, did it ever pay off that way. All right, Landon Batty brings his troops up to the line here on second down. No timeouts remaining for the Bulldogs. Just hang on to the ball right now. The turn, the give, Kozad, Kozad brought down at the 40. One more yard, and now the clock will run. Third down. Third down and five. A first down ends this ball game. Clock at two minutes. Still 20 seconds on the play clock. Muskies need to use every one of those. Batty turns around, looks at the clock. And now brings his troops to the line with 10 seconds on the play clock. Down to five. Batty snaps it. Gives to Kozad. Kozad is about two yards shy. Fourth down upcoming. And now the clock will run under one minute. I would expect Muscatine to let this run down and maybe take a timeout when the play clock reaches one. That will be right around 49 seconds to go in this game. They got the offense on the field. Do you try to draw them off sides right now? This might be trying to draw them off sides and take a timeout. Down to four on the play clock, down to three. They're just going to run it out, and Kozad has the ball. Kozad reaches. I don't think he got it. Well, it would have been fitting, but he falls about a yard short, and there's still 48 seconds on the clock, and the Bulldogs will get another crack at this. Oh, man. I don't mind the Coach Hawkins going for it and giving it to Kozad. How can you argue against that? Didn't pay off, and now you got to uh, deal with the, the bad side of your decision. You give the Bulldogs a pretty good field position here up to the 36-yard line. Trips off to the left. 48 seconds on the clock. No timeouts for the Bulldogs. Back the throw. Looking over the middle. Throwing. And the ball is incomplete. Over the head of Mendoza, the intended receiver. Second and ten. Clock. Only five seconds came off on that play. Down to 43 on the, uh, on the clock. High B post game show upcoming. Trips again to the left.
Ball snapped, back to throw. Zimmerman looking, throws it over the middle. The ball's deflected and incomplete. Thrown into traffic. The ball deflected. Paul Henry was there to deflect it away. Henry can barely <laughs> walk. He's limping right now, dealing with the cramping, but nonetheless, third down and 10 up comes. 37 seconds left. And now a timeout going to be taken by Muscatine. Not a bad time right there with Henry dealing with the cramping a bit. Take your time out. The trainers are going right over. And trainers are going right over to Henry and uh, getting him some fluids and giving him some stretching. That timeout pretty much was to make sure that Paul Henry wasn't going to get burned deep because he can uh, not run. So the situation, if you're just joining us, where the heck have you been? Third down and 10, 37 seconds left. 37 seconds left, and the Bulldogs have the ball down by three with no timeouts left. Two more stops, and the Muskies can celebrate. Defense back out on the field. Henry looks good to go. Kozad over on the sidelines. All he can do now is urge on the fans to make some noise, and boy, are they ever. Trips off top of your screen. Man goes in motion. Zimmerman, short pass out in the flat. It's dropped. It's a forward pass. It's dropped by Mathis, and now just one chance left for the Bulldogs. Fourth down, 10. Remain, it's all that remains between the Muscatine Muskies in victory. Coach Wiley trying to call in a play. He's got no time out, so can't really talk about this biggest play of the game for them. 30 seconds on the clock. They got to find a way to get 10 yards. Muskie's pretty much in a prevent defense right now as Braden Lane is standing on his 33-yard line. They're giving him the first down right now. If the, if the Bulldogs can just get a 10-yard out. Do not want to get burned deep is pretty much the, the thought process right now. And we're, we're changing the clock is what we're doing. So we're changing it to 33.3 seconds. I think. So this is giving uh, the Bulldogs a little extra time right now. Coach Wiley asked for the clock to be fixed. They are fixing the clock. Thumbs up and we are set to go. Fourth down. Here we go, the ball game. Lies in the balance, folks. Fourth and goal, and no, nope, one more whistle. <laughs> yeah, the, they're changing the play clock now. All right. So we'll move it to 25 seconds now. Here we go. Fourth down and go. We are finally ready for the decisive play. Back to throw. Zimmerman looking under pressure. Zimmerman scrambles, looks downfield. He's got to let it loose. There's a flag on the play. The ball is caught. It's a first down, but there's a flag on the play. There's a flag in the backfield. And this is likely on the Bulldogs. Zimmerman holds his helmet. He cannot believe it. It's coming back. Well, that was a hold of all holds right there. An easy call on what has been a night of penalties. Kind of fitting a penalty plays such a big role in this game. And that will push them back 
10 yards, wipe out the first down, make it fourth in 20 now, which is 20 seconds left. The Bulldogs need to get to their 47-yard line. The ball sits at the 25. Fourth and 22. Trips to the top. Solo receiver to the bottom. Zimmerman throws it out in the flat. Mendoza's got to run a long way. He beats two defenders. He can't beat the third. And that's going to do it, folks. The Muskies are going to do it. The Muskies are going to knock off the mighty Bettendorf Bulldogs. And the first one on the field to congratulate the defense is Ty Kozad. Kozad setting the school record tonight for rushing yardage somewhere around 350 yards. Four touchdowns on the night for Kozad. He's got seven now in the last two ball games, and the Muskies are going to win their first game of the year and do it in historic fashion. And that before we get it, one more penalty, though. Speaking of records, I think we've set a record for the most penalties. This, If you are just joined us in the second half, that first half was brutal with the laundry on the field. And Coach Wiley's about had enough on the Bulldogs' sidelines. And we have an ejection. I believe he just ejected somebody, and it might have been Coach Wiley. So Coach Wiley is walking off the field right now. He's at the 40. He's at the 35. Fans are waving goodbye. And he's he stopped at the 30. And the referee's not going to mark the ball until he leaves. Those two have had a night tonight. And Coach Wiley gets a few extra words in before he leaves, and he's still barking. He is letting everything he's got right now out of his vocal cords. And uh, if, if there's kids over there, I hope they got the earmuffs on because it is not suitable. And he's still He's still going. Well, the Bulldogs are about to be 0-3 for the first time since 1976. And their head coach is finally outside the track and outside the fence. And that's where he's stopping. One knee is all that leaves us between a victory. And there you go. There's the knee. And... Celebrate, Muscatine! Your winners tonight, the Muskies knock off the Bulldogs. The final, 37 to 34. We're going to take a quick break. Be back with the Hy-Vee uh, post-game show right after this. physical therapy. Feel better, move okay, forward. Yeah. No, let's do it. Let's come back. <laughs> the party is on tonight on the field at Community Stadium. Oh boy. Here comes the students out of the field. This one is special this evening. The Muskies knock off 
the Bettendorf Bulldogs on a historic night. We just School record crushed, rushing record by Ty Kozad. Somewhere around 350 yards rushing, four touchdowns on the night. It was a back and forth game. And uh, as you watch the students pile onto the field and the celebration, the flag out there, everyone uh, ecstatic. We'll kind of recap what we saw tonight. And boy, did we see a lot. We saw 71 points scored in this ball game. It all started with kind of a harmless field goal by the Muskies taking a 3 nothing lead. Jackson off for a 33-yard field goal. Then Wrigley Mathis, a big run, 66-yard play, two-play, 95-yard drive by the Bulldogs, gave them the lead. A shanked punt would lead to another Bulldog touchdown. Bulldogs led this game 14-3. to But like last week, I think last week has a lot to do with this week. Last week... The Muskies came from behind, did not give up despite being down 28 nothing. did not win last week, but kind of proved to themselves that they can come from behind and stay in ball games. And tonight, well, they came from behind. It was Sawyer Zach who started at quarterback. Six-yard keeper made it 14-9. to And then from there, it was the Ty Kozad show. He had a touchdown of 36 yards at the 629 mark of the second quarter, added another touchdown to give uh, the Muskies a 23-14 to lead at the 316 mark of the second quarter. The Bulldogs would add a touchdown before halftime, and it was a 23-20 Muskie lead at the break. Second half, the Bulldogs would take the lead. Big night by Martinez, their running back. He scored, and uh, it was 27-23 Bulldogs. 11-19, just 41 seconds into this third quarter. Bulldogs had the lead. But Ty Kozab scored again to put Muscatine back out on top, only to have Martinez score again in the first couple of uh, seconds of the fourth quarter, and it was 34-30 to Bulldogs at that point. But Ty Kozad put the finishing touches on his historic night with a 75-yard touchdown scamper to put Muscatine up for good. 37 to 34. That was your final score. Our offensive player of the game, and this one is perhaps the easiest call in the history of player of the games. Brought to you by Bear of Muscatine, Ty Kozad, offensive player of the game again. Right around 350 yards rushing, give or take five or six. Four touchdown rushes for Kozad. He is your Bear offensive player of the game defense boy the defense stepped up though in the second half especially down in that final uh, drive right there stopping them but uh, we're going to give our defensive player of the game to lincoln brookhart who came up with a key interception early in the second half so lincoln brookhart ty kozad are fair players of the game want to thank all our sponsors who make it possible for us to bring you this historic game tonight high b Muscatine Power and Water, Bear of Muscatine, Muscatine Lawn and Power, River Rehab, Great River Tire, Bosch Pest Control, Waffle and Pancake House, Muscatine Symphony Orchestra and Muscatine Charities, and the Burrito Factory. Go out, patronize them, and give them a big thanks for making it possible for you to watch your muskies. And boy, what a victory tonight. The muskies now won and two on the season after this uh, victory. Their first win over Bettendorf, like we said, since 2012. So now one and two on the year. Next up, a trip to Pleasant Valley to take on uh, another top 10 opponent next week. In fact, back-to-back -back road games the next two weeks at Pleasant Valley and at Cedar Falls, both teams ranked in the top 10. It doesn't get any easier, but... Well, we can think about that tomorrow. Tonight, it's just about celebrating what was a fun, historic evening. want to thank the crew this evening for bringing you all the pictures. want to thank all of you for uh, watching tonight. Uh, I'm told this was our largest audience out there viewing, so thank you 
for getting the word out and uh, watching and uh, coming back week in and week out as the Muskies continue this season. This is not the same Muskie team, folks. These guys have grown up and grew up a big bit tonight as well. They're going to be a, a force to reckon here as the season goes on. But once again, your final score this evening, 37-34, Muskies beat the Bettendorf Bulldogs. This has been a production of the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. I'm Roland Glenbine. Have a great night, everybody.